Today we're here with Odell. Odell Davis. He's an old school pimp back from 1970. So, am I pronouncing that right? O Z E W. -A, I just told you. Well, I'm, I'm reading it right off the paper. My uh, name is Odell Davis. What you want me to start off? Are you a native of uh, Mississippi? I born and raised here. How long have you lived here? I lived here 33 years. I thought they might would change, but I see it ain't changing. I thought you was from Mississippi. My, this is Mississippi. You can't read? Well, I just letting you know, I'm down here from Detroit, Michigan. What was your pimp name again? O-Z-E-W-A, I just told you. Oh, okay. J-R-Y. Oh, okay. Hey, I want to ask you a question. Is it true that you used to pick up prostitutes <clears throat> on Warlick Street back in the days? Well, I was right around town, and uh, they told me, say, you better go on Gallup Street. But those are some filthy women over there, ain't it? I came down here, I saw all them limbs and things right and I saw a hole in the one, and I said, what's going on here? Now, that ain't the best place to pick up women at. Black neighborhood. So why you never picked up women on the south side of town? And let them work for you. Because What's wrong with them women? They look at your face, smile. They don't mean no damn good. They ain't no damn good. I tell you the face. They ain't no damn good. Now tell me something else, Mr. Garris. I heard you used to smack the you know what out of women. Huh? Real good. But you still treated them good. Is, is, am I getting the story right? It was eating happy. It sound like to me. A lot of your women had a lot of good freedom. They over there eating. I guess that works out for you then, you know? I got to say what to say. I say they go get both food, all that big stuff. They gonna go down the dream. See what I'm talking about? If they gonna pay for the food, hell no. That's what I heard. Eating happy. You beat one of them up pretty good. Uh, do you ever go by and check on them? All right. So after I saw him in the house, I said, how y'all doing? They doing pretty good and everything. And uh, I said, well, and uh, I did not talk to the choir and I come on back down here. But anyway, I'm going to get to the big portion. Okay, I understand. I understand. They ain't no damn good. So uh, I had an interview also with someone that you know, Sequita and Mercedes. They said they used to work for you back in the days. And uh, they kind of seemed a little... You know, a little like they was holding back on me some things. They, they was kind of no scared move. to say what they wanted to say. Did you used to beat on them or something? Because they didn't just didn't want to say all the information that they really wanted to tell me. A lot of people like to hold back, but I don't hold back nothing. So, Mr. Garris, is there anything else you want to say about your lifestyle? I thought they might would change, but I see it ain't changing. So, are you going to ever change and go to a, live in another city, you know, and, and start off? Start pimping again, even though you know times has changed. I'm not gonna say it all I got to say. It. They ain't gonna never change, ain't nothing gonna change. But death, I just told you. Well, I think this wraps it up for our interview with the oldest pimp in the world, Mr. Garris. So, Mr. Garris, uh, I wish you luck on your new pimping career. That you, well, I should say, old pimping career. So, till next time, peace. I can't just let it in. I'm getting the hell out of here. I ain't gonna stay here. I don't hold back nothing. My mama didn't let me say what I had to say. Don't hold back nothing.